Now the people, I hope you're doing good. Thank you for joining us again, once again. And we have got a new bathroom to rip out. So, what do you think this? It's about two metre by two metre box. Everything staying where it is. Pretty much light for light. Toilet, basin, bath. Um, we're taking this concealed shower out and putting a standard bar shower in. And the pipes are at the back of the wall, so it's all pretty straightforward, no chasing. Which is just a lot easier. Um, tower rail, new tower rail going in. So yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward bathroom to replace. First job, take the sliding door off. It's going back on. Um, they're a bit of a nightmare, it's gonna be easy to work. Work around when, especially with the tilers, tiling the back of it. So crack on, get it ripped out, and we'll catch up with you shortly. Right, so we're getting there now. Basin's out, shower screen's out, mirror's out, and just moving over to the tower rail, getting the tower rail off. So I'm not with me needing to adjust them eventually. I'm not gonna cut them under the floor yet, not gonna drain the system. Saves the same draining the system twice. What I'm gonna do, I've just isolated the lock shields and gonna just take the radiator off basically and leave the rest of the system built up. I've shown you these um, tubs before, I think they're great, the, um, the little washing up moulds from, I think they've got from Aldi, and they're off for about five, well, a couple of quid, five I think it was, and um, it's perfect, it can fold right up, you've got pretty, I think it holds, I can't remember, it holds, it holds enough water though, but then you can go slightly a bit up and down, but even though it's lowest setting, you still got a bit of a bucket there to catch just dribbles of water. Let me grab my plum, 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 sorry. So hopefully the lock shields are turned off. Oh, get out of the way. These tubs are ideal for getting under pipe work and catching a bit of water. No movement at all in that. Um, what we have to do? What we have to do? These plum thumbs are ace for taking radiators off. They're about twelve quid, I think, off Amazon. I think some plumbers merchants started stocking them now. So if you haven't got a pair, they're a must have. Definitely in my toolbox anyway. Only thing I've got to say about these plum thumbs, with them being plastic, you've got to be careful you don't cross thread. Because once you cross threaded the thread and knack of the thread, it ain't no good no more. So, if you are listening to the person that made them, probably not. You can make some brass ones or some ones out of metal, maybe, so it's less likely to uh, cross thread. That would be amazing. There we go, that's off. And then you can actually lift the radiator. With these, I suppose with the tower rail, it's not, you don't really need to lift it with that, but for a normal radiator, it's really handy to, to help you lift it and lift it outside. So, I'm not, take that outside for the scrap man, come back, back upstairs, and what I'm going to do is start ripping the tiles off. So, we'll start on this side. We're going to, like I said before, we're going to leave the toilet in, so we'll, just, we'll probably just leave them six, eight tiles in, in behind the toilet and work around it. We'll load the bath up with tiles, and then... Yeah, once we've got all the tiles off, we'll then get the bath out and that wall off as well. We've also got outside, I'll tell you what, take two trips. Outside we've got to make some adjustments out here because we've got, got a cast iron stack with lead going through the wall. So where the branches there, we'll put cast of plastic, put plastic going through the wall. And then also the engine of water inch and a half we're going to replace them as well while we're up there with a pair of ladders so yeah stay tuned if you are like it so far smash the like button right, so you can see all the tiles are off now i've got the job we're taking them all the way downstairs, all the way to the top of the drive, and back up, and we're taking another one, another one, and then got to take the bath out of me, and take that all the way downstairs. So, as the old saying goes, 
A few moments later. Things you love to see. Plumber's leaving dishes under the trap because I can't be confident with my own work. You know, this needs to come out, don't you? Right, lift that downstairs and go have some dinner. Right, back again today. We didn't actually film anything else yesterday. I completely forgot one of them things. So, half day today. I had daddy duties this morning, so I've only got half a day. It's now one o'clock, and we've got the toilet to take out. We're going to take the toilet out, core a new hole through, and sort all our pipes outside, get a new inch and a quarter pipe through here, new inch and a half pipe through there. So, yeah, that's my job for today. And then tomorrow, we're going to repipe the hot and cold and get the floor all boarded and also sort of essentially in pipes out as well so down there so first job tie that out tiles off rest that floor up right i'll cord out Got two holes now so we'll have to do a bit of bricking up at the bottom. Um, what well, this plaster work fell off more than I wanted it to. So I'm gonna speak to Tim. Um, ideally, I don't want to board this wall. It's got a really thin bead of plaster on at the moment, so I'm hoping it can just bond it all up and just make good. <coughs> that way, um, we're not losing any more room in the in here than we have to because from a to b is only 690 and i've got 700 bath going in so obviously it's going to be chased into either wall like it was before with the old bath so yeah it is what it is we have to uh do these things so we'll head downstairs and show you what, we, what we've got to do outside right so all cord out there got brick to replace underneath but that was the day because we ain't got a spare brick um so i'll have to run to build the merchants and grab a brick to go in there so what I'm going to have to do is just around the sides like I always do, try to do this bladder, elbow through the wall, 45 down to my, I can do this without dropping it, cast a plastic adapter, so a bit like a pan connector, goes into there, seals on the, ca on the cast and then just put my pipe straight into there. So yeah, and then place the inch and quarter and inch and a half pipes so we'll get that all done now up a ladder shouldn't really be filming got my hands on the ladders Woo. health and safety and all that so we'll crack on and get that fit so as if just like magic we're all done pipe all connected up there obviously we've still got the brick to sort out underneath which we'll go to the merchants today or first thing in the morning to grab that pipes all redone i had to recall the clean inch and a quarter I was inching a quarter push fit in before and obviously saw it well slightly bigger but it wouldn't squeeze through so I had to recore it out with a pain to be honest but it's one of them so we'll head inside go plumb the toilet back up temporary and then we're going to shoot off to the merchant and go get the ply some batten to the bath and we'll see if we can get the brick today as well so I'll catch you guys in the morning good morning everyone so we had a bit of a busy start this morning all repiped for the hot and cold just need to get the floor back down and get the toilet back in so brought the feed over to the correct side as i've just checked the um the toilet outside so i floor back down i need to put a couple of clips on these pipes as well stop any banging and then i've got the dreaded which i didn't realize it was gonna be this bad with the, the the towel rail so yeah i ain't got much to play with i'm not sure what i'm gonna do it's just elbow there, elbow there. And I've got a feeling this is three quarter pipe work, not 22 mil. So, what am I gonna do? I'm not too sure. I need to get, it's got to measure bath. It's a, a pee bath, shower bath. So I need to measure, be about 800, and then work out what, where about, exactly where about my radiator is gonna go. I'm not too sure yet, I may. I may try sweat these off 
and then reuse and get down to the 15 mil and stay away from the three quarter otter. If not, just bring and grab some three quarters, 22 mil reducers. So, might have to do that, we might not, we'll see. So we'll, we'll get around to that. But first of all, like I said, Got floor back down, toilet in. I've got an extra long flexi. I like to get extra long flexes for when I'm doing bathrooms, just because it saves me coming back to take the toilet out all the time for when the plaster is here. It's only a small bathroom, so the plaster could just disconnect the flexi, uh, pan connector, and it can just move the toilet to one side and work around it. So you've got a meter, meter to work with, so it just makes life a little bit easier for me and saves me having to come back here back every other day. Put the toilet in and take it out. Put the toilet in and take it out. So we'll crack on and we'll catch up with you once we've got the floor down. Right, so floor's all down, it's a bit of a bomb site in here. I'm one of these who just gets on working and don't realise how much mess it's actually making. I'm not one of these uh, tidy, tidy engineers and plumbers, whatever you want to call them. Eh? Tradesmen, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm not a tidy tradesman, I should be really, because uh, I end up losing tools. But radiator, pipe work, nearly done. I've got a solder. Up this side, turns out it's not um, three quarter, it is 22 mil. It's been a bit of a nightmare to be honest. Water still in pipe work, so the soldering is not the best. Um, but I'd rather have too much in there than not enough. Um, at the end of the day, it's getting covered over, so you're not going to see it. And I'd rather it be uh, done proper. I've had to put a socket on just under there, if you can see at both sides, that's been a bit of a nightmare. And it's scorching a bit of the floorboards, but it's fine, it's all getting covered over. Don't stress too much. So we'll get this soldered up capped up fill back up and then if we have time we're going to try and get the ply and uh, ply the whole floor right underneath the bath and everything just then we've got a nice nice smooth floor to work to and it's ready for the lino guys to just put the lino straight on top Right, like I said, soldering isn't the best. That's why I need a press gun. I really do need to invest in the press gun. I saw Mark's video, MJ Tiff's video the other day about a guide to get into press. So if you haven't seen that, please do go check that out. It's a great little video and it's definitely persuaded me to make that jump into press. So coming over the next few months, whenever I do get a spare bit of money, or I know Mark was saying Press It UK do a um, a bit like a tur like you can do pay over three months, uh, five hundred pound a month, whatever it is. So I might look at doing something like that. So I'm going to speak to Mark, see what he's done and how how he's finding it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Right, all done for today. I've not got as much as I wanted to do. There's one simple reason for that. I'm an idiot. Basically, I measured the floor wrong. Don't ask. Basically, I've got one sheet which were 220 by 120 or something like that. Um, and I thought if I cut it, I'd have enough for that side, but realizing it's not the same size. Anyhow, I need another bit of ply to do that little bit there. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Plaster can still plaster of the weekend. Timmy Too Tall, the tallest plaster in the UK, is coming to plaster this. We're boarding the ceiling. Electrician come today, took the lights out. Took the, um, the fan and pull switch down, move the pull switch in a little bit so it was a bit tight to the tiles. So Timmy's coming tomorrow, not tomorrow, Sunday, sorry. I'm gonna smash this off. And then he'll be here, he says, possibly two days. So Sunday, Monday, and then we'll let it dry out Tuesday. And then I'm back Wednesday to put the bath in and finish the floor off. And then fingers crossed, the tiler gets finished on the job he's on at the moment and can get here for Thursday. If it, but yeah, we'll see. It never runs that smoothly, but it's one of them things. So I hope you all enjoyed the video so far. That's the first fix done, basically. Other than the bath, obviously. And the shower pipes, which we're gonna do afterwards because we've got covered there. We're gonna run we're gonna run them under the bath, up, and then just drill straight through the wall. Um yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah. Leave that with me. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment below, all that malarkey, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>